Lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, for the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. Break into song at the deeds of the Lord, the wonders he has done in every age. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, for the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we have gathered here to be the farewell of our dear sister Gibbon, who has passed from this world to meet our Lord. In his heavenly abode. As we celebrate her life, as we celebrate Jesus' great history, we recall the life that was given to our sister. And so we reflect also on each one of us that our life that we lead is always. A reinvention of our life that we are living. God has blessed us with this wonderful gift of life, and we have, we have to be always acknowledging this gift of life. And as we do this on behalf of our sister, let us praise God as we take part in this Eucharistic celebration of our life that God may grant her. Rest, and God may welcome her in the heavenly kingdom. And as we pray, let us also acknowledge our sinfulness, our weaknesses, that our life we have all only in full worthiness, but somehow without human defects, without human weaknesses, we have failed to live our life according to our God for us. Let us ask pardon and forgiveness. As we take part in this holy Eucharist, and let us together say, I confess to Almighty, confess God, to Almighty God and to, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
name of your servant be born to be inscribed in the book of life. Do our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one Lord, forever and ever. Amen. The response to the word of God will be sung.
Lord Jesus Christ.
My dear sisters and brothers, we have come here to celebrate the life of our dear sister, Yvonne Maria. As I was rightly saying in the beginning of the Mass, in the introduction, the funeral that we celebrate, the funeral that we have of our deceased brothers and sisters is always a celebration of life rather than a mournful event. We know that we are at loss of our dear ones, but somehow the God who is the Alpha and Omega, who is the giver of life, is gaining that life which he has given to this world, when he was to his family. And now that we celebrate the life of this sister of ours, we thank God for the many years that our Lord had bestowed upon her. 77 years, the Lord had granted her this life of 77 years. And now she's been she's been called back to him to live in fullness, to live in eternity. At this juncture, we reflect on the life itself, and each one of us who are living here in this world may be in the company of each other has to know and has to reflect on our lives too, that our life is always a reinvention. We have to keep on inventing our life now and then, every moment. And I found this nice story of a hunter once. A hunter observed that how unaffected a group of swans in a jungle pond when a holy monk jumped into the jungle pond. The swans were calm and cool. They never moved out of the pond. And observing this, the hunter says to himself, if I catch one of the swan, I will have a great dinner. And thinking this, he also at once jumps into the pond. But to his astonishment, to his surprise, each of the swans fly away from the pond. The next day, when he comes near the pond, he uses one trick. He dresses or makes himself like the holy monk and jumps into the pond. Taking the resemblance of the monk who jumps into the pond and somehow manages to catch one of the swan. But the other swans just swim away from him. And at this point, the hunter realizes and comes to a conclusion and says to himself, a mere resemblance of a holy monk can get me close to the swans. How wonderful it would be that I change my life and become a holy person that I am maybe a hunter, maybe my profession is different, somehow I tend to become a holy person. And then and then he takes the decision of changing his life, reinventing his life, and thus he becomes a holy person, a holy man. My dear sisters and brothers, life is to be life has to be 
in the fullness. But somehow they reflect that life is to reinvent. Life has to be always improved upon. Life has to be lived in fullness with the existence of our Lord. Pray in the readings. We hear, especially in the first reading, we heard from the book of Genesis, we see the impact of how death entered into humanity when God created such a beautiful creation. Man, man was created as the cream of the creation. Somehow, the one who was important the one who was the dream commits sin, thereby inviting death to himself. And today, when our Lord encounters Adam and Eve, he asks them this particular question Where are you? Where are you? My dear brothers and sisters, our Lord's nature is always merciful, he is always compassionate. Our Lord knew that everything has been created good, even the Father Yahweh created everything good, created man, somehow he commits sin. And today, when God encounters Adam and Eve and he asks them, Where are you? He doesn't ask them, What have you done? Though he knew they had committed sin, he asks them, Where are you? If God asked Adam and Eve, what have you done, then it would be condemnation. It would make them condemned for what they have done, the act of committing the sin. But somehow the Lord was compassionate and He wanted Adam and Eve to accept in humbleness what they have done. He asked them, where are you? And ultimately we see the play game that is playing on each other. Adam says, the wife or the woman you have given me, she can be coming to sin. He somehow wishes her sin on the serpent. The blame game continues and the Lord had to give a verdict and heard what the verdict the Lord had given to them. My dear friends, our Lord is compassionate and this same compassion is seen in the Gospel of today where we literally hear the word compassion. Jesus was filled with compassion of the people who were with him for three days and with compassion he moved, he gave them food, he satisfied them and he sent them back to their homes. This is how our Lord deals with us. We have to live our life experiencing the compassion of our Lord. And that's why I was saying, when we celebrate life, when we try to live our life in fullness with God, we have to also experience the compassion of our Lord. One of the writers, Henry Burson, he says, to exist is to change. To change is to become mature. And to mature is to go on creating oneself endlessly. My dear brothers and sisters, today as we reflect on these things and as we reflect on the fullness of life, let us take these things for each one of us who are living. Although we have come to celebrate the death of our dear sister, but the reflection implies to each one of us that we have to live our life meaningfully. We have to reinvent our life. We have to somehow mature by doing things that can be in an endless way. Our dear sister, whose death is celebrated today, must have experienced the compassion of our Lord. 
maybe through various ways, through various persons, through the dear little ones, through the sacrifices. And the Lord today has called her in his abode to give that life which our Lord gave in fullness. So let us pray to God that she may experience this life which our Lord has given us. The Lord, Lord will give us this particular life when we all die. And as we pray for her, let us pray for her dear and dear ones, especially her children, her son, her daughter, her money, that the Lord may give them sympathies, the Lord may give them peace. Amen. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them that you give God, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and gave it thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink, drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your bread is ready to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Philip our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Ivan Maria, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, our blessed spouse, Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quest to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, our mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Forever and ever. Amen. As we now call out to our Father in the words our Savior gave us, let us lift the soul of our sister unto the Lord, the Lord may grant her eternal peace. Let us give these thoughts and pray to our Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth and as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord, Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and everything in accordance with your will. To live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you.
Lord. And with the Holy Spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the same Jesus, our Lord, who fed the 4,000 and sent them satisfied. The same Lord is feeding us with his own body. He is satisfying our spiritual hunger. Blessed are ye, ye who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my room. But only say a word in my soul. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that your servant, the one who has journeyed from this world, may be, may by the sacrifice be cleansed and free from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord.
dear father James Mars, Renter and friend. Today is a day to rejoice that our beloved Gibbon is in the hand of our Lord and has joined her husband with the way in the heavenly kingdom. Gibbon was a wonderful, kind, soft spoken, loving and patient person, much loved by everyone around her. She put her sick husband before herself, even though she was unwell. She became a teacher at the age of 18, worked for the government, and finally retired as a headmistress. As I was writing this theology, I decided to call up some relatives and friends, and they had nothing but nice things to say about her. She was a very positive and brave person, always smiling, and never complained about her illness which she had for 25 years. She bore all her suffering with a smile. The last two years were very difficult for her after the death of her husband in Ashley It is very sad that neither of her children could come down from the funeral, as we all know of COVID-19 and how it has affected people's physical and mental health with the lockdown due to closing of borders and restriction of travel. You can only imagine the gut wrenching pain that the children are going through, especially Neville, who said to me she was the best mama and one could ever ask for. On behalf of Marilyn and Neville, I would like to thank Mrs. Louisa Cordero, the godsend angel. We are eternally, great, eternally grateful for her selfless love, friendship, and in its heart that look after the born right till the last breath. We are, uh, she was very happy, the uh, was very happy with the news of her new grandson, a gift before she passed away, who was named after her husband, Antonina Gorsh. Yvonne was blessed with two children and five grandchildren. On behalf of Marilyn and Emma and the rest of the family, I thank the parish priest and all of you for having come to attend the service to bid her farewell. A special thanks to Dr. Oswald, cousin Dr. Maria Taylor, Melrick Pareto, Nair, you know his name, the choir, and whoever has helped her in that I'm not aware of or, or I have missed out. Thank you. And her knees and the way her knees.
सुमिया जेजु क्रिस्ता तीन दीस फोनान दिसो घेऊन तुझेर विश्वास दोरतल्याचे फोन तुवेन पवित्र केले ओशे जुरी कुडी निकी पुंक्ते उपकारता तुरी पुनोर जीवन परंतु बोरमसो वाढवितात हे आमचे प्रार्थन मानून घे या फोनान तुझे चाकोरनी शांत विसो मेळो तूच आमचे पुनोर जीवन पोण आणि जीवित देखून तिका पुनोर जीवन करतोस तुझ्या मुकामोळाच्या उसवाडान सासनिक प्रकाश बघून तिका पावय तुझो जियतान राजवट चलयताय सासनच्या सासना आमच्या बहिणी या जीवितांतली आपणा सोरशी देवान आपली देखून मातेची केली तिची कूड आम्ही मातेक लायता पण मेल्यांतलो प्रथम जीवन झालो जेजू आमची विनाशी कूड आपले कुडी सारखो विनाशी करतलो देखून आमचे बहिणी सुम्याचे आधीन करूया सुमी आपले शांतीन तिका वेंगो आणि मन दिसा तिची कूड पुनर जीवन करू होच बरो असं घेऊन आमची मागणी आमचे भयणी पासून आम्ही बापा उभारणी लाजाराच्या फोंडार तो रोडलो सुमिया आमची दुकां पुसून काढ तुझे तुवेन मेल्यांक जीवन केलंय हे आमचे भयणी सासनां जीवित दी तुझे आपले पाप रडल्या चोराक तुवेन स्वर्ग बसायलोय आमचे भयणी तुझ्या राजान घे आमचे भयणी पवित स्नाना बरोबर नितोळ केली आणि पवित्र पवित्र तेलान तिचे मोर मारली तुझ्या भाग्यवंताच्या जोम्यान ताका एकटाय आमचे भयणी तुझ्या कुडी रक्ताच्या पवित्र जेवणान पोसली तिका तुझ्या सुरगीच्या जेवणांक बसोय आमचे भयणीच्या मोरना वरवी आम्ही दुखेस जाल्या उभी करून तिची गोरची तिची भुरगीं भावार्थाचे बुजवणेन आणि सासनीक जिवितच्या बरोशान आमका सगळ्यांक धीर दी तुझे सगळी आमची मागणी एकठाय करूया सुरगीचे राज सुरगीचो वैभव हे आमचे भयणीक मागून शिजून शिकवले मागणे म्हणून आम्ही बापा उलो मारूया आमचे बापा आमचे माय मारियेचो आलाशिरो हे आमचे भयणीक मागूया ती आमची माय जिवी असताना आणि जिविता उपरांतूय तेन्ना तिकाय उलो मारून तिचो आलाशिरो आम्ही मागूया नमान सोर्बेस्पोर आम्ही तुझे लागी प्रार्थना तुझे मेल्ले चाकोर्णीची आमची भयणीची इवोनांची काकूत कर आपल्या कोर्ण्यांची शिक्षा तिका देऊ नका कित्याक तुझी खुशी पाळूंक तिका मौन असले खोऱ्या भावार्थान हंगा तिका भावार्थ्या एकवटायली तेच पोरी तुझे काकुतीन सोर्गी देवदांच्या वोरान तिका स्वागत मेळो तुझो जियता आणि राजभूत चलयताय सासनच्या सासना सासनाचो विसव सोर्वेस्पोरा तिका लाभोय